Uh, joining me right now with some analysis, Bullseye Brief founder Adam Johnson, digital risk managing partner and co-founder Jeff Taylor, Shervest Wealth Management CEO Robert Luna, and Action American Action Forum President Douglas Holtzik. And uh, Adam, I'll start with you. So we're hiking rates. Yep. We're going to hike again three times, perhaps in 2018. And yet there's no inflation in the economy. So I I'm just asking why, like why are we doing this? hike right now? I hear you. Uh, because they're getting us back to normal. Rates are still abnormally low. If you look at the 30-year mortgage, it's 3.87%. That's only about half a point higher than the all-time low. So rates are still incredibly low. If you have not gone out and bought a home and financed it and locked in your rate now, you better do it because rates are going up. And again, they are the lowest they have ever been. So Trish, all we're really doing is getting back to normal here. All right. Jeff Taylor, I mean, if you think about about what the Fed's doing right now alongside what uh, Washington DC is trying to do right now they feel like they're kind of going in two different directions and that the Fed is trying to pull things back a little bit rein things in despite their predict predictions of relatively slow growth and no inflation uh, while DC is out there trying to stimulate how are these two things going to work together so it, it's, inter it's interesting, right? And as far as tax reform, it's still to be seen what happens. But I think the point he just made a moment ago about this is the lowest uh, point we've ever been interest rates. It's 100% right. As far as the housing market goes right now, interest rates rising are, everybody's expected this. It's getting back to normal. The big disconnect, though, right now is over a five-year period, wages have only grown 10%. Housing prices have grown 40%. That's the big issue in the housing market. And I look back at D.C., I mean, it's so going to be the So too much inflation in the housing market as far as you're concerned? I'm sorry? Too much inflation in the housing market that's not, in other words, wages aren't keeping up that's with other right. forms of inflation exactly. like housing. Because of the tight inventory, all of a sudden we've had a price up 40%, wages 10%. So affordability from the first-time home buyer all the way to the, mo the move-up home buyer really isn't there right now. Now you move into tax reform. So what do we have there? Depending upon where you live, it's geographical. If I'm living in New York, New Jersey, I have state income tax. If that goes away off my deduction, how do I really think about can I buy another house, move up, or what have you? A lot of that's still to be determined, but a lot of uh, ramifications are coming out of Washington. About what tax policy out of D.C. is going to mean in some of these states that have very high property taxes like New York, New Jersey, right. California as well, though not to the same extent as New York and New Jersey. And you combine that with the Fed raising rates, and so it's that much more expensive to get a mortgage. What yeah. does this all do to the housing market? Is it going to soften things? I mean, right now, I mean, with price increases, it definitely hits affordability, number one. Secondly, as far as people being able to move up home buyer, mm -hmm. so it's going to be, depending upon where you are, it could easily uh, soften the market. We're projecting $1.3 trillion for 2018. And uh -huh. in different states, you know, you could see people moving to Texas and Florida because it might be much more affordable overall as they look at their total economic picture. Okay. So. So let me, let me on. take this forward with Rob Luna for a moment and say, is the Fed making a mistake right now? raising rates then? Yeah, you know, I don't think so, Trish. I, I agree with the other guests. You know, this is really just a normalization of policy. And, and let's not forget, you know, we had the Fed who basically had to pull the weight for D.C. for several years, and the only tool we had was monetary policy. So that's changing now, and D.C. is finally starting to get their act together with tax reform, albeit probably not the type of tax reform we were all hoping for. But 21% corporate tax rate is going to make a difference in markets. And I think, quite honestly, they may be underestimating the growth that's ahead of us due to the fact that they're out of bullets. But 21%, this pass-through entity we're looking for, this is some fuel, I think, that can get the economy going. 